Later on the show, I love the smell of autumn. So today I'm making candles for a fraction of the cost of store-bought candles using my favorites, cinnamon and pumpkin. We are in the kitchen having something Matt Rogers is going to resist. <laughs> True. But we're happy. We're happy because we're making some changes here. But I was, speaking of changes, we've had a lot of response because we're changing our, our house. We're changing things up a little bit. Great response on our Facebook page about Zoom Interiors design boards for our media room makeover. We've asked you guys to help us out by voting on one of the two designs that they have proposed. There's the traditional look you'll see right there. And then you're going to see the restoration style as well. We asked you to pitch in and um, speak up and let us know which one you like. We've extended the voting until actually today. Today's the last day, so please go and vote, vote, vote for your favorite, and then uh, you'll get a chance to have some input into what our house looks like. Right. So every day you come over, if, we don't, if you don't like it, and you go, well, you picked it. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> but you know who I would pick to cook me a meal any day? Uh, any day of the week? No, not Kim. Oh, no, oh. no, no. Our next, our next guest <laughs> vowed not to compete again after Top Chef Seattle, but her competitive spirit returned her when invited to do the Top Chef. Uh, uh, it was a duel that she actually mm -hmm. did. And please welcome back to our house, Chef Brooke Williamson. Anyway, Hi, Brooke. She's an amazing chef. She went to Alaska on a glacier to cook for sled I mean, dogs. Hey, there was they... a, yeah, there was a whole scenario there that I won't get into. But... <laughs> so, but you were uh, first runner. Up, right? I was first runner up, and then I went back for some more pain um, for Top Chef duels. But I, why I, did you go back? Uh, because you know, when when you're done with all that, you kind of miss it, and um, I don't know. It brings out this competitive nature in myself that I didn't even realize I had. So, and I kind of liked it. It's a lot of fun, and you go back and you see friends and and compete against them, and sometimes you do well, and sometimes you don't make it to the finale. <laughs> are you going to do it? Are you going to do it again? Again? No, I think I might be done. done? Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's good. All right. Thank you. All right. I think I might. I think I might have outstayed my welcome. No, tell, never. tell everybody what you're going to be making today. Um, so I'm making a. Um, it's actually a dish that I have on the menu at uh, my restaurant, Playa Provisions. And um, it's a salt cod clam chowder. It's kind of just a different take on a pretty traditional clam chowder. We have some over here to serve everybody at our table. And tell a little your playa provisions the restaurant. It's a little it's a little different though. There's, what's what's so different about your restaurant? There's a lot going on there. It's a it's a sort of a four in one concept. We have uh, the seafood restaurant, which is a big portion of what it is, and then we have a cafe that does breakfast pastries and coffee, and then we have. Um, a whiskey bar that has a whole Look separate menu Ooh. and a huge, a huge whiskey <laughs> selection. <laughs> and um, we have a creamery as well with all homemade ice creams and popsicles and ice cream sandwiches. Oh. I, wanted, so, I wanted to point out because we are helping that out. <laughs> this is the portion we get, oh, okay. and this is what Matt gets. Now, if you notice the difference, there is some bacon there. Matt, his bacon is, you can barely see, it's right there. Oh, oh Mark! Oh, oh stop! Oh. You are here. Here, sweetie. Here you go. I don't eat bacon. Okay. I, don't, wow. I don't eat bacon. Wow. All right. So tell tell us what you did. You um, have some butter and uh, so there's a little bit of butter in there, and then I'm just sweating down some oh carrots, onions, and celery, and a little bit of garlic. Um, is this and the, then the base of your. This soup? is the base. I mean, it's a pretty traditional chowder. Um, and it's it's made the the thing that makes it a little bit more interesting than your average chowder is the salt cod. Um, which Why is, is that? What is salt cod? Salt cod is um, a sort of dried um, salted cod, and it was a, originally a way of preserving a fish to make it last and travel. Um, but what we've done is we've taken that cod and we've reconstituted it, taken all that salt out of it, oh. and we're going to add that, and it just adds such a depth of flavor. Where can to you the get base salt cod, bro? Um, you can get it in um, most seafood um, supply stores. Yeah. Have it. You can actually order it online because it ships really well. Um, salt because it's salted. It doesn't go bad. You can literally not even refrigerate it. This is so good. This is, really the... this is amazing. So we sweat yeah, that. Has to wait to taste it. <laughs> we sweat that down a little bit, and you can smell all the I can. aromatics coming amazing. out of there. Um, I'm going to add a touch of chili flake to it. And then, um, so I've added the salt cod already, um, but what we need to do, because um, we, we want it to be a chowder, and we want that thick consistency, we're gonna make a, a little bit of a roux. So because I already have butter in there, um, basically a roux is equal parts flour and butter, and this is gonna cook for a while. So that, that 
will actually thicken the base of the soup. Did you understand that, Kim? I actually did. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're not going to cook something for a while, you don't necessarily want to use flour because you, you don't want that floury sort of texture, consistency, and, and flavor in there. You can actually taste flour. Um, How long do you have to cook it, really, to get rid of that floury taste? Um, I mean, a good hour, probably, oh, but you time. need to cook. I mean, we're going to add potatoes here. It's a traditional chowder. Right. Chowder always has potatoes. We're adding the salt cod and the potatoes, and those two ingredients actually really need to cook for a while. Okay. I, I have so. a question about nutrition value, because I've always been under the belief that, if you're understanding at least, that if you cook something for a long time, the longer it cooks, the more nutritional value comes out of this. I don't know if this is a Sophie question or not. <laughs> Um, no. But it's it, it's not necessarily true. Not at all. No. 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 Generally speaking, the more um, the less a food is cooked, the more nutrition it's going to have. Right. That's so, why a lot of people eat raw foods because right. they they have a lot of enzymes and nutrients. But well, if you was, cook, but like if you take something and cook for a long time, yeah, you were concerned nutrients. that you were cooking all the all nutrients the nutrients out of, out of it is what yeah. I was. Oh I guess. Yes. 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 But I tell you, you don't you don't cut out the flavor in this soup. I no, can it's just wonderful. Tell wonderful. by the way it smells. What are you adding? So this is um, this is clam juice and you're. you're you're going to want to be careful. Um, <coughs> you don't necessarily need to season this. This might not eat, need any salt wow. because of your salt cod. And the clam juice, canned clam juice, um, generally has a decent amount of salt in it. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice mm. and a little bit of fresh lemon zest so you can get really get that sort of brightness because we're going to add a bunch of cream to it. Um, I'm take some of this home. Do you mind? <laughs> you see this? Travel. Wow. Everyone, this is not milk. <gasps> this is cream. Oh, there are oh, occasions oh, where oh, it's okay oh, to oh, eat oh, a little. Oh, I'm bad. excited. <laughs> I, I'm all for it. Wow. So can can I we're I just gonna. Cream? We're just gonna. Yeah, go stir that. Like so a we're just gonna. Gallon of cream. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it all. So I'm just gonna cover the vegetables, and then we're just gonna like slowly simmer this, and you'll 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 realize after after a little bit because of that flour, it'll pretty quickly start to thicken, and those potatoes, the starch will come out of the potatoes. Um, and this, I mean, this is pretty much your soup completely um, mm. after a while. What um, about the clams? Do we do talk oh, about the clams? Oh my gosh! <laughs> we got the clams. Oh my gosh. Thank you. So I leave the clams to the end. This is why I forgot about yeah. them. Um, the, we, I leave the clams to the end because um, because we don't want them to overcook. This is the one ingredient that you don't want to cook for a long time because if you overcook clams, they become really chewy. Erasers. Um, well, exactly, maybe eraser, exactly. right? We don't want eraser soup. So when this is like, say, this is an hour down the road here, and um, and we want to serve it within probably 20 minutes or so, um, you can just get canned clams. Um, these are raw, frozen clams. Um, there's so many different ways to get clams. You can use fresh clams, but by no means does it need to be fresh mm -hmm. clams. There's I mean, no that's a plus lot to fresh of clams. work for okay. yeah, not a whole lot of results. So um, so well, we're just gonna. How long do you, does the soup cook for altogether? So you're you're. You're going for at least an hour, and then you know once you add your clams, you're ready in about 15, 20 minutes. And can then I, can I now we can reveal. It's so. Um, Ooh. It, wow. So I'll bring this over. Do you need that? Wait till you try okay. this. Okay. Yeah, it is amazing. Um, so yeah, it's all yummy and bubbly. Oh my goodness! And you can see how the consistency of it has completely. Can I get you a changed. bigger spoon, Christina? Yeah, I was <laughs> gonna get this as my spoon. <laughs> and you can smell that. I mean, what you're. I mean, of course, clam chowder smells amazing. Yeah. But that salt cod brings a whole nother element yeah. to it. Can I? And can we? Yeah. Put so some what in here? we're using here are these sourdough bread bowls because sourdough goes really well with clam chowder. And um, what I like to do is like kind of oil it up and put a little garlic on there, put it in the oven, get it really crusty. Um, I have some oil, please. <laughs> <laughs> and you can hollow out the top, too, unless you want all of that. Um, but yeah, basically, we'll just ladle that right in there, and it'll start to soak into the bread. And like one of the best parts of the soup is actually the bread that soaks up, up the, the, the bit of chowder. I I'm going for mine in just a minute. <laughs> well, Christina's getting some all, please. I'll yeah. tell you where you can get some all, please, on a Pinterestpage.com forward slash home and family TV. Wait for it. Isn't that something? That is the best thing I've Isn't had. It? That is so. That is so. <laughs> oh, good. So good. Oh, Follow Chef Korean Williams on delicious. Twitter at Chef Brook W. Um, thank you so much thank for you. coming Thanks in. Thanks for this having is me. Unbelievable. Would you like to go? Here you go. We're coming back, and Kim Douglas is up with pumpkin pie. Yeah, pumpkin pie. So we go from a professional chef to a non-chef. There you go. Come on back. <laughs>